there are not a lot of fedora based distributions out there but ultramarine is a very good fedora distribution which features the distributions that are not available in the fedora spins if we look at the website the website looks cool and it gives you a download option and installation guide and there's also a link if you want to migrate your script this means if you are already on fedora and you want to install the rpm fusion if you want to install ultramarine repos you can directly with a migration script install it and directly your you will be off and going if we look at the flavors that they have they have the flagship edition which is the budgie desktop the gnome pantheon lapis edition which is an immutable edition and the depreciated cute fish cute fish they started with cute fish it was very cool but it has caused a lot of problems and bugs so that's why they put it as depreciated and you could not manage it very well but for the flagship it has some problems but it is it is it is a little bit more stable than the others so today we will look at the flagship edition and see how it looks so this is the ultramarine desktop it is a very clean desktop the panel the color of the the black dark color is very nice and we have the desktop and a very beautiful wallpaper if we start with the panel if i right click you will get nothing if i right click on the menu you will get nothing if i press the menu you will have this menu let's say i want to search for the terminal let's say if i move with the keys with the left right uh, up down keys you cannot go to the terminal so this one it gives you an extra step so if you put the you have to go to the mouse and press it the other thing if i right click on the menu you will get nothing if you remember in Mate desktop the solace project which has uh, the budgie desktop they created the brisk menu where in the brisk menu when you right click you can pin it to the desktop and or pin it to the favorites menu so i don't have a favorite menu and the context menu or the right click menu is not available also in the menu so these are very serious shortcomings and unintuitive to not include them especially the panel right click of the panel the right click of the terminal if you want to pin it to the desktop or you make it as a favorite so these are things that we need to talk about the other thing is we don't see here anything for with the terminal and if i press the shortcuts which are present control alt t or super t it is not available so what we can do is i found a method that you can do it here you can right click here you can put open in terminal so you can go access to the terminal of course this one you cannot you cannot put it here you cannot pin it there is no option if, for you to pin it all you can do is here in the panel is you right click and you pin it to the or make it favorite so it will be pinned in the on the panel so if i click it here so now it is a favorite now it is here inside the panel so if i close it we have now the icon for the terminal the desktop is a very restricted you cannot do many things on the desktop even also you cannot move the folders you cannot move the folders you cannot move the trash this is because they they are using a gtk grid where everything is fixed in place so you cannot change it and if i want to add something let's say let me if i want to add something you can add let's say if you want to add a folder you can add a folder it's very simple you can add the folder and the file you can also add a file let's say i want to add a folder then i want to add a file let's say this migrate which i downloaded and afterwards i want to download a another folder let's say the, the music so if you notice when i put the music the migrate goes down so on this desktop they prioritize the folder than the file so if you put any folder it will be on top all the files will be down so the other thing we will talk about is theming and before theming let us say if i want to change the background if i right click there is no option for changing the background so let us assume it is on budgie desktop but it is not on budgie desktop it will be if you want to change the background on system settings this is the background you can choose let's say i want i chose this one 
it shows the background so if you want to change the background you have to go right click settings etc these two I already added these are by default of course you can add a lot of backgrounds they are in the ultramarine repos but also you can add a picture if you want to add a picture you can add a picture from here you choose whichever you like I already installed two two pictures here and I added them that's why they are put here they are put here also if you want to change the background a lot what you can do is you go to Wall Street so they have the Wall Street control and here use default papers if I if you run it directly after five minutes it will change the wallpaper it's a very nice wallpaper setter every five minutes or depends on your taste how you want to change the wall wallpaper let me let me run it and let us say every three minutes okay so you can also utilize this one okay looking at the theming so first when we look at the theming we go to the budget desktop setting there is here the style and by default they have the fluent round light and fluent dark and adwaita and also the notification position is on the bottom right i already downloaded zorin themes these ones i already because i did a, uh, the themes are they are very good for the zorin if you want to check where they are so this is in github you get all these for the themes and also for the icon themes and after you get all these folders you put them in dot themes and dot icons let me show you where it is I created a folder dot themes and I put all these folders which you saw before I put them here and for the icons also I created a folder called dot icons on the home folder home directory and I put these so now if you want you can change let's say I want to use Zorin green dark okay and the icons also I can use Zorin green dark and if you want here you can write a built in theme if you notice the panel how it changes if you keep it like this it will give the same color as the other one if you make it built in it will change a little bit it is up to you to, to choose which one you like for the dark theme this one sometimes works sometimes doesn't work so I'll keep this one like this and for the animation control whether windows and controls use animations I put it also on top for the desktop you see these are the desktop icons you can change them there is also the active mounts if you remember in the desktop you can have these you can have active mounts and not the dot desktop files you have to have another system in order to get all these shortcut files to put them on the desktop that's why they only put these these are the ones that are available desktop icons that are available here you can put a folder or a file home directory and the trash that we saw click policy double that you have to double click icon size you can make it let's say large if you want let us keep it as large and number of virtual is four you can add whichever you want for the fonts they are they want they use the Cantarell uh, font which is fine you can access the Raven with super a or you press down here if you press down here you will get this one I want to show you if you if you notice here the Raven look why it is it is not working fine if you want it to work fine what you can do is you go to the style you go to the built-in theme and now if you press it you don't have a problem so there is some problems also with the way you use it you have to make sure that these things will not happen these are mainly some bugs that are present in budgie but they they can be solved everything can be solved of course if you don't use the Zorin it would you will not have this problem but because you are using Zorin you have this problem that's why they suggest only two or three themes that you can use but if you like Zorin you have to make sure that the Raven will render correctly directly when you enter it so you can access the Raven directly or you can press super A so if I press super A it will also come so here uh, that what we have is the calendar we have something for the audio for the devices if you have the devices which are installed the audio devices we have the sound and the notification for all the notifications that you will have from the applications 
be it the calendar, be it Firefox, Thunderbird, all the notifications will be present on this site. So here concerning Raven, set the position. You have it automatic. You can put it on the left or the right. Now it is on the right. So by automatic, it means always on the right. There is the calendar widget. It is available, the sound, microphone, media, and power strip. If you notice these four, they were all present there. For the windows, you will have at automatic tiling is available, but this is a basic one. So only for full screen, if you want to put it, it will go directly to full screen. Looking at the panel, you can add four panels. You can add the bottom, you can add a top, you can add a left panel, and you can add a right panel. So you can add whichever panel you want to customize. So this one, if I want, I don't like the right, I want to remove it. So we remove the panel. The left also, I want to remove it. Let me remove it. I will keep the top and I will keep the bottom. Let us look at, let, let us add some things here on the top panel. If you come here, there is the applets. So we choose the applet. So first let us put some icon task list. This is very important, the icon task list, because all the applications that run will will be here on the task list. They have an icon task list. So let us add it. We'll add also hot corner. We'll add the weather show. We'll add also Windows Shuffler. And we'll add workspace switcher. So this one is on the end. We can add it also, put it here in the center and the start. We have start, center, and start, center, and. And if you want for the top panel in the settings, you can make it as dock mode. So it will be a dock and it will have all the features that instead of using plank, you can use this one. Of course, plank is better, but this one will keep the same theme that you have on the system. So if you don't want to use an extra package, the, the panel, the budgie panel, they are very lightweight. So you can also use them over here. So looking first at these, what you can do is I right click on it and add it. So this is the way you, you can add icons. It is different than the panel, the plank. The plank is very easier to add uh, all the items. All you have to do if you want to add items is you want to open it. Let's say I want to open the files. After you open the files, you go here and you press, press this one. So these will be all apparent. So if, so if I close, let's say I close Firefox and I close the files. So now we have all these three, they are always present, okay? So you need to know about these things. So we have in the bottom, we have a complete panel and the other one is a top dock. If you notice when I put this weather panel, it, it gives me the weather here. Unfortunately here, if you want to remove it, you cannot move it. So what you have to do is, so you go to the top dock, you go to the applets, you go to the weather desktop, and you can hear set the uh, custom position so if you want let's say i want to put it 1600 because it is a 1920 by 1080 and 650 okay so i press okay so it is here maybe i will put it 1400 so you can manage it depending on the x y position for the workspace switcher you have this is the workspace switcher so you can switch from whichever from workspace one to two to three to four also if you want to change let's say this one to this one you cannot drag it and put it on on the side so you have to use the shortcuts or you can go to right click move to another workspace it will go to two or you use the shortcuts let's say the shortcuts that i use is super shift three so it will be in three if i want to go to workspace one super one and these are all manageable in the keyboard where is the keyboard let me show you the keyboard you have to go to system settings you go down to the keyboard also down 
view and customize shortcuts and here you can customize the shortcuts for the windows this is if you want to split left split split right so this is for the windows for the workspaces navigation so I put the move window to workspace super shift 1 which gives the exclamation shift uh, super 2 shift super 3 you change it how you like and also super 1 super 2 super 3 super 4 this is for the navigation also we said with the with the windows the ones that are only for tiling if you don't want to use the tiling is super left and super right and of course there is no shortcut for any application so let us add some applications so we put here custom shortcuts we add a shortcut we call it a terminal and the command they are using gnome terminal and the shortcut let's say control alt t we got it so whenever i press control alt t we will have the terminal okay so let us continue so this is the workspace switcher and if you want here you have an icon if you want to add the virtual desktops you can add another workspace so we'd have five workspace if you want also if you want you can right click and remove and you will have this four if you want to remove also one of them it will be like we will look now at the tiling this is the available tiling for for budgie of course i told you that let's say if i want if i have a a file manager here if you want you can use this option so if you press like to here it will directly tile to this side based on this configuration if you press like this it will tile on this side it is nice but it is uh, not very fast so if you can press super uh, if you have like, like these two it's very easy to navigate you press super left super right like i did let, let me show you super left super right super left super right it's very fast but if you always forget some of the key bindings which everyone does and we are in living in an age where our memory is getting shorter and shorter you can use let's say you want to use it like this and put the other one it's a good option to have it of course also you can use zen tile i already for tiling if you like tiling directly if you have a automatic tiling i discussed it in another video also i'll put a link on the top the the last thing that we will talk about is the software so that is the software that are available it's very nice very nicely done if you look here there is the repos that are available and the good thing about uh, ultramarine distribution is that they have a lot of repositories enabled so they have the fedora flat packs they are enabled there is also flat hub it's you can enable it directly from here there is also the fedora repos the rpm fusion all the rpm fusion also the free tainted also is available the non-free it's available and also they have the ultramarine repos also the ultramarine repos they used to have the catfish uh, repos or the packages so you have all the packages and also there's there's obs studio because they already installed the multimedia codecs you can have also a customized obs studio from this ultramarine uh, reports so i already updated everything if you want let us check the system Control alt t so df so if you notice here i already have 5.5 gigabyte this is to mention that there is firefox installed there's not much applications installed only firefox and LibreOffice also installed and all of the others are very small programs so it is very nice that to have a very lean system on this budgie desktop if we look at the kernel so they are using 6.05 for the kernel in the end we need to note that fedora will be shipping most probably the budget desktop starting from fedora 38 and onwards because it is available now the budget desktop will be as a fedora spin on rawhide 37 so most probably in 38 39 we will have a fedora spin of budgie in the meantime you can enjoy this budgie desktop and look at it evolve because there's a lot of things that need to be improved in the budgie desktop to make to make it more usable 
although it is a very modern and beautiful distribution but there's a lot also a lot of features and functionality that need to be addressed in order to make it a better desktop thank you